ABC News. This is Good Morning America. Well, there is a man waking up in Detroit this morning with an amazing story to tell, not just because he had brain surgery this week, but because the surgeon was giving updates on Twitter during the operation, all with the patient's permission. Here's ABC's Barbara Pinto. We're going to take good care of you. We're just making the incision for your scalp right now. While doctors Stephen Kalkanis and Kosella Sevich perform Here brain surgery at Detroit's Henry Ford Hospital, a watchful medical team looks on. It's very cool. So does Holly Charbonneau, a medical student. They're making some good progress. Not from the operating room, but from her kitchen, 15 miles away. And in Massachusetts, Harvard medical resident Phil Williams watches too, all connected on Twitter. You could hear music in the background, so I just asked them what they were listening to. Hey, Koss, we have a question about what music we're listening to. In an unlikely marriage of medicine and new media. Are you surprised at how many people are online watching this on the Twitter? The screen is, is filled. It's, it's uh, rather stunning, actually. More than 1,900 people followed this remarkable and risky surgery, tweeting questions to doctors in real time in the operating room that got immediate answers. I have a question, shouldn't these surgeons be operating rather than tweeting? And I said, but at any given point, there's a very senior team with the patient. The patient, a 47-year-old man with a tumor in the speech center of his brain, consented to the Twitter broadcast, our presence, and to have the video of his surgery uploaded to YouTube. I felt like it was right there, in there. And it was like, I felt like they were going to ask me to hold the retractor for them, you know, <laughs> because that's the medical student's job. <laughs> Doctors say that's the point. So it basically allows people online kind of a, a window into your decision making. Absolutely, absolutely. That, that, that's the real power of this technology. Technology that allows an interactive play-by-play. -play. What kind of anesthesia is used for this? Doctors put the patient under, expose his brain, then wake him up. What is this one? A cow. And then keep him talking to map the speech center. This is a two garbage kid so surgeons can safely navigate around it and remove the tumor. As the surgery progresses, we're tweeting too. This is amazing. Some other people ask, is he nervous right now? But he's just talking up a storm, apparently. Their question is asking if brain surgery is really as hard as brain surgery. <laughs> the surgeons reply, um, yes. So then why have so many people follow along on a potentially risky operation? It's always better and best if we can to err on the side of furthering the field and, and advancing the frontier and educating as many people as we can. And he says it's important for doctors to now communicate in the language this generation of students understands. For Good Morning America, Barbara Pinto, ABC News, Detroit. The one thing that makes me feel better is that the surgeon is not actually dropping yeah. the scalpel and typing in to tweet. But the <laughs> somebody doing it for him. The patient is awake, so he yeah. could have been tweeting. What are you doing now? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that would be possible. Having brain surgery? It is unbelievable what technology yeah. has and come to. And apparently, this just in, you can follow our updates on Twitter by logging there in to go. abcnews.com.